how to use Microsoft Forms for event registration. So first what you need to do is just go to Microsoft Forms website. So just type in forms.office.com on your browser right here at the top. And once that's done, you'll be greeted with this page and you just simply need to click on the registration right here. And it will redirect you to this page. Just wait for it to load. And now you could just simply start with it if you want. And you could also change the title here at the top. And here on the left side, you can see the template. So just click on that. And let's say we want to do a event registration. So click on the event registration template right here. But do note that there are tons of other templates that you could choose from. But for this video, we're going to go with event registration. And it will show up right here. So in event registration, you could collect information for an event such as the headcount, logistics, the food preferences, and so on. So here you could you could type in the name. You'd also change this or edit it if you want, as you can see right there. And once that's done, you could go here at the bottom, which session do you plan to attend? You could just simply click on it and edit it if you want. You could also add options and select total options. You could add this to set it to no limit, equal to, or at most. And just do that. And here you could remove the ones that you don't like. Let's say I don't want this one. So I'm just going to remove this, click on it, and click on the delete question. It will automatically be removed and the numbering will be automatically fixed. If you want to add a new question, just simply need to click on add new question right here. Or you could also click on the question suggestion right there. And here are the questions that are suggested. Any additional comment, the signature, and how do you hear about the competition, something like that. But you could also do your own. Click on add new question, select the type. You could go with the multiple choice, with the text, with the ranking or upload file if you want them to upload like a picture or something. But once that's done, you could now go to settings and you could edit all of these out on who can fill out this particular form. And of course, the options for responses, you could check the start date and end date and you could set it to whatever you want. You could also set the time duration, you could shuffle the questions and so on and so forth. But once that's done, you could just simply click on X right here, then click on collect responses here at the top. And now you could set it to anyone can respond or on, on the specific community you're in. Let's say I'm just going to set it to anyone can respond. And you could also copy the link right here and also shorten the URL. And you could also scan QR code or give the QR code out. So you could, you could just scan it. You could also embed it just like so. Or you could also type in the name or email. Then once that's done, you just simply need to click on send. And after res the responses are done, you just simply need to go back to the website right here and go to the responses. And once you're here, you will see all of the responses analytics. You could see the average time, how many responded, and of course the duration on how long this form was online. And that is basically it.